We're in the Gospel of Luke. I want to invite you to listen as I read verses 21 and 22. In that hour, Jesus rejoiced in the Spirit and said, I thank you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, that you have hidden these things from the wise and prudent and revealed them to babes. Even so, Father, for it seemed good in your sight. All things have been delivered to me by my Father, and no one knows who the Son is except the Father, and who the Father is except the Son, and the one to whom the Son wills to reveal him. So, interesting business here. I thank you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, you have, you have hidden these things. I thought God was about telling what the truth was. And yet here we find that Jesus is giving thanks to the Father that he has withheld truth from the supposed wise people and the big, you know, the big people, the important people, and he's shown it instead to babes. How do we get our head around this? This sounds a little bit sketchy. And yeah, wait a minute. What we're talking about here is people who've been exposed to the truth, that the, the, God has sent the truth to them, and they have rejected it. They have spun it and invented and twisted it, and they've spun it around and laughed about it and made light of his servants and made light of his truth. And what is God's reaction to that? He withholds his truth from the wicked. He withholds his truth from those who are intentionally obscuring the truth. Romans chapter 1 tells us that God is opposed to those who suppress the truth. They hold it down. They hold down righteousness. They suppress it. And there's a lot of different ways to suppress the truth. Sometimes it's the pointy-headed, you know, scholars and the people with big degrees after their name. Sometimes it's those guys that are very busy suppressing the truth. Jesus withholds his truth from somebody like that, and he'll give it to a simple fisherman, as the gospel shows us, who's just willing to hear from God and say, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, I I'm okay for that. Tell me what, show me what you have for me next. So let's uh, be glad. We want to agree with that. When God withholds his truth from people who are just going to mess with it, and he gives it to people who are ready to follow it just to the next step, wherever they go, that's a good thing, and we should be very glad that God is that way. Let's pray. Father in heaven, thank you for your truths. Uh, we want to ask you today to be our leader, watch over us. We want, Lord, to agree with you that you do withhold truth from those that have rejected it or have an attitude issue that they're ready to make light of your truth. And you reveal it to simpler people. Help us, Lord, to be uh, simpler people. It seems like a strange thing to pray, but help us to be simpler people, people your kingdom can use. And this is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. So, friend, may, may you and I, may we be uh, not necessarily, you know, overly smart or overly righteous, uh, overly uh, thinking a lot of ourselves, but let us be so simple, so ready to follow the Lord God that he could actually use us for good things. God's blessing be upon you today.